There we go. First slab of the day right there, guys. Hot bluebird day. Welcome back to another episode of Three Power Fishing. Let's put some slabs in the boat. Today is a uh, absolute calm day, no wind, no protection. We use those uh, protection tools like the sun, like the wind, to kind of allow us to get a little bit more uh, close and personal with these fish. And when you don't have them, oh baby, we just missed that one. Gosh dang it, guys. Uh, when you don't have those, I'm staying extra far back on these fish. Now they're only sitting around 22 feet, nothing big, but I'm very, very cautious to getting much closer than that for sure. But right now we're sitting back here just casting straight to them and we've got an active pile right here, but we are having to play them. In other words, we're doing that staircase step approach where we're just kind of really accelerating it pretty fast. Here it comes in the... There we go. <laughs> what a day, what a morning. All right, guys, good start to the day. We're out here, ah, not early, but you know, roughly around that 8, 8.30 time frame. Putting slabs in the boat. Love it, man, love it. We're gonna keep some for a uh, fish fry, but uh, you know, bluebird day, that's what we're talking about today. A bluebird day with no wind whatsoever. Uh, definitely changes it up and how I'm reacting to these uh, piles. I'm staying back. I'm being very sensitive to it. Um, it, it. You know, it feels like right now we're getting a decent amount of casts on them with those active fish, and then, and then it just dies off, and so, and then you move on to your next power. And, and, and summer is always a, a time frame of move, 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 and it'll wear you out um, because of that. But either way, it's great fish. I mean, look at that. It's super bite. The hammer gives me that sensitivity I need. Braid is a major factor. When I used to fish with mono and fluoro, I'd miss so many fish because you simply couldn't load the hook to set it quick enough. Uh, when these bites, are, these bites are happening extremely fast. Not saying that you, that's not true for that's true for every lake, but for my lake, that's that's a fact. So I always encourage braid uh, to help for a quick finicky bite without a doubt and we found a good little pile here which is nice now first priority is always to find a pile with a bunch of fish on it and that gives you your chances a lot get a lot better when you have a ton of fish they're dealing with All right, guys, I get a lot of questions about uh, the settings on my unit. So I wanted to cover that in this episode without a doubt. I, it's probably my number one question I get. I obviously have a very clear picture. I wanna go over that, why it is the way that it is and where, I, where I've come from to get to this point. Now, when it comes out of the box, guys, this is truly a great plug and play unit, right? But what I do, now that I've had it for a while, all I have to do is go to sonar setup, installation, and I go reso restore the sonar defaults. That's what I do every single time I wanna make sure I'm getting the best picture possible. The only things you have to change in the sonar defaults is this auto gain right here. So I typically have it sitting around 67. You have to change your auto up and down your depth to whatever depth that you're choosing to use. Same thing with forward. And then the only other options I do is noise reject is turned to high and my TVG is turned to low. That's it. TVG, I believe, comes off in the default 
uh, mode, so I change it to low. Noise reject, I believe, comes in medium. I change it to high, and this is the picture. Now, the biggest complaint people are gonna ever have with having noise reject on high is that you're gonna have somewhat of a delay on the bite, but trust me on one thing. You get used to it, it's not a delay anymore. So that's how I set up my Garmin unit. I do it every time I have with complete confidence. I do run the current update for Garmin. So I don't have a fear of doing the updates whatsoever anymore. If I have, ever have a question on my, why isn't my picture showing up well, I go right back to defaults, make those, those small changes and that's it. Ooh, ooh, baby, baby, there we go. All right. Good size eating fish right there, guys. Gonna let them go, of course. We gonna let them go. Why not? 100%. Great summer, guys. Bluebird day. A little bit on my settings today. I appreciate you guys watching. Please subscribe. Do me a favor. Hit that notification bell. Share the videos. Uh, we've got a month left of summer, and then where that water temperature is gonna start to drop. And I'm telling you right now, guys, fall fishing is fantastic. So I appreciate you guys watching. Take it easy.